Hey guys, in this episode of What Makes This Guitar Great, I'm going to talk about this really cool 1982 Ibanez AR300. Now, if you don't know about these guitars, you're going to know something in a minute. Um, somebody sent me a picture of me playing uh, in a club in Montgomery, Alabama in 1983, and I was playing pretty much the same guitar. Uh, and then I saw that picture, I said, boy, the mullet, I'm kind of glad I got rid of but I missed that guitar. So I went looking and they're available. They're, you can find these guitars on eBay and Reverb and wherever you go shopping for guitars. A few cool things that make this guitar really great. Number one, the craftsmanship is great. Now this is back, made back in the 80s when honestly, I think some Fenders and Gibson were a little bit, you know, they were going through a lot of transitions. They were experimenting with things that could make the same look or the same sound for a little bit less money and they weren't always the greatest changes but Ibis at the time was just putting a lot of love into these instruments and I think you can just tell this the it's gorgeous inlay the neck is ebony and it's perfectly straight I mean it's 1982 so it's 40 years old and it's just the most perfectly beautiful it's like a really substantial size SG neck just kind of figure that um, it's got this double binding, which I think is really pretty, which they put on the George Benson guitars too back then, which is gorgeous. And the body, of course, you can see the neck is on the edge of the body like an SG, so I use this guitar for slides sometimes. But another cool thing that I had forgotten about is that it has these switches for each pickup where you can get for the full humbucker sound, of course. But then you split coil. Sometimes by itself is how usable is that? Well, you can get reverse polarity. But what's really cool is when you start combining the pickups together with the split sound, you can get a pretty funky sound for a humbucker pick, uh, guitar. I mean, it's pretty darn nice. downside I might say about these guitars is that they're super heavy. I don't think people were not concerned that much about the weight of the guitars back then. So these have some weight to them. It kind of feels like a Les Paul. But you know, bass players hold up heavy guitars all night long, so it doesn't bother me. Uh, and believe me, you kind of get used to it. Got to build up some muscles in your back. No. But uh, it's a great guitar. So what makes this guitar so great? I'll tell you. The craftsmanship is great. It's 40 years old. It's beautiful ebony. The neck is straight as a board. The pickups sound great. I can't remember what these pickups are called. They call the Super 58s or Super 59s or something like that or V58s. I don't know. But whatever. What makes this guitar really great is that it sounds great. It's super versatile. Uh, I think it looks awesome. Uh, and you can find them and they're very affordable. Um, the cases were kind of crap back then so you might have to buy a new case for it. I found all those cases I was made back in the day were kind of light cardboard cases that weren't super durable, but you can find another case for it. It's beautiful, it's fun to play, it's versatile, it's affordable, and it's um, you can still find them. And I think they're, they should be more collectible than they are. The Ibanez AR300.